Guys, we're so excited to have Jade Catapretta. Oh, hi. Right now. This is so exciting. In person. In, we're in person. This is so rare for us. We all, we've done most of the, what, 240 episodes. No way. We've this done. is 240th. Congrats, you guys. Yeah, Thank you. thanks. Uh, we've done them all like virtually. So, except for a few live ones. And man, we're killing it this week. We've got nothing but stars, including oh, yourself. Oh, ooh, daddies. So excited to Speaking have you. Speaking of stars, so I have a yeah. bit of undiagnosed dyslexia. Mm-hmm. And so I follow you on all social media. Same, same. I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah, big fan. But I, when I see a name, I just go, do you ever do this where you see a name and then you change, like in your head, change you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you pronounce head. it? Oh, what's mine? Okay, give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yes, so excited. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, Jada, uh, Jada, no, no, I go, Jada, 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 no, I, know, I go, no, yeah. I go, uh, Jada Catapinket Smith. Yeah, oh my God, <laughs> one of my, some of my best friends called me Jade, uh, Jade Canna Pretzels. Yes, <laughs> or Jada Canna Pretzels. Yes, yes. Canna Pretzels. And I is can't, great. Yeah, right? I can't get, I can't change it. That's in my fine. Head. I'm happy with that. I think that's cute. Yeah, you are a stepmother um, to Willow. Oh yes, and, mm-hmm. yeah, and mm-hmm. I can't like it. It's, it's, it's the, it's the sorry, Cata that sounds like the. I don't know. I don't know why yeah. in my head I just People go. have such an interpretation. People are like, you sound like a fancy purse line. Like, I get that yes. on. Oh, you have a catapreta. Uh, yes. <laughs> but it's actually Jaji Moreira Catapreta. That's my name. My real gonna, name. That was my second way that I pronounced it. Much yeah. hotter. That yeah. is so fucking cool. Right. Renee knows it. I've been trying to be that person for a minute. Please yeah. say it. When ha- it's convenient. Wait, say how it do one you, more time for the how do, If your right? mom caught you um, sneaking out of the house... I would never, by the way. Love 13 rules. 13 years old, right? Um, she would go, Jaji, por qué? That's what oh. she said when I got my nipple pierced. My God. So she's asking why, right? Yeah, like why? <laughs> yeah, 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 why? Jaji. Because, Jaji. Uh, so you speak Portuguese yeah. then, correct? Okay, because it's, but it's so similar to Spanish. It is. It's basically the same shit, different it's day. It's almost the same. So no, like it's really you, similar. It wasn't por qué that you said, right? But it was. No, how, it is. Por qué. Oh, oh por qué. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, some words are exactly the same and some aren't, but I pretend they are. So like when sure. I speak Spanish, it's like, they're like, what? <laughs> You're yeah, saying yeah, it yeah. in a Spanish accent, but. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, that's so fun. It's that's fun. Hot. All right. Yeah. Very Would you cool. say the difference is like a Boston accent to in a New York y- y- or no. Philly, like a Boston accent to like maybe somebody um, from uh, Macon, Georgia? Sure. Yeah. Is that the yeah. Between no. It's yeah. I'd say Boston and Philly are probably like the more. Oh, those closer. are feel similar to me. Yeah, they feel so. It's like that. It's like all the Italian, like Italian, French, all the Latin rooted languages are kind of similar. They're also. They're similar. all. La- yeah. They're all from latin so like all the words are kind of it's like german and english yeah 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 there you go that's yeah good. well for us in the south philly and boston are the same place right so I, is, oh I, I see i see no difference couldn't yeah so i guess it's like an accent from like someone from like charlottesville virginia or like washington uh-huh. and like georgia okay I guess, yeah. yeah like they're both southern but it's like a different type yeah 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 now are yeah. you you just said virginia earlier too are yeah you from virginia that's where i grew up i went from brazil to virginia when i was 12 what what virginia charlottesville yeah. where all the Shut rallies up. and stuff happened yeah yeah that's fucked up but it's a really cool like weird little culture town but yeah. really mm-hmm. it is i think that's why they chose it like they're not from the, they weren't from there they were from like you know the boonies and stuff yeah. and then they all gathered in like that one town they were that's like more west virginia they might have come mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah they brought their cousins girlfriends from so you came people. at 12, yeah, my yeah. and you have absolutely no accent. Well, as you guys know, I talk a lot. Sure, sure. So you <laughs> a lot of practice. Of you? Yeah. When I'm a little high, you can hear like somewhere. I'll like add an S. I'll, yeah. I'll like have some immigrant moves. <laughs> I just wrote a script with another immigrant, and we like kept like checking it, like we're checking it, and then we're like, oh, we just missed full word. We're just spelling words completely wrong. Yeah. Like, like, I still fun. have it. I'm still an immigrant, but I just sound white. Would you eat? A, would you? Would you eat a hot <laughs> We're dog? Just American, no, a no. hot dog. Yeah, like hot dogs. Like my mom. Yeah, hot, we, I just add dogs. s's. I add s's, and then I take out s's when I need. Like it's like bitches or. Yeah, that's what I say. Like sometimes that's I'll slip. Yeah, I, that's what I say. I'm like said said. Yeah. That's what I oh. Said. <laughs> yeah. I that's loved fun. you in Modern Family. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Yeah. I just think it was really nice that you married that old man. Oh my god! Yeah. I actually was in Modern Family, so what? I thought that's what you meant. And I was no. like, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> she was, was trying to call you. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What? What, would, what did you do? I played like a teacher that uh, I played like the little boys' teacher, like the kindergarten teacher. And I was actually supposed to have a, a much longer stint on it, but one of the actresses didn't like me. <gasps> Shut up. Duto. I mean, talking? there was only one actress that okay. I, was in the scene with me, so oh. I can only oh, guess. We'll Dude, this. she thought I was too chummy. Oh, wow. So that what was my bio mean? for a while. Chummy. I like talked too much. I was too comfortable, so I yeah. think it made some people unset uncomfortable. 
I learned. I learned a lesson. You know, you have to like be. Yeah. Maybe it came across not professional. I was oh. too like comfortable. Okay. You're, you're too too confident. Too chummy. Too chummy. Too chummy was what was specifically said back to me. I love Damn. this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I need right. to research and see which one it was. I look really nerdy on it. That's great. That's very exciting. Let me I tell never, you, it wasn't Julie. <laughs> I never watched all right. of Modern Family. I, I love I'm, it. Oh, I love it. I still watch it. God, I think it's, it's so brilliant. I, it's every joke, it's, joke. Like every yeah. beat yes. is a joke. Yeah. And they have literally 21 exact jokes in, in the whole show. Wow. Every show. So I think I was also like trying to improvise. Uh, and Ed was like, yeah, do it. And then I got in trouble and they're like, yeah, they don't like that. I'm like, why did you encourage me to do it? Yeah. Damn. Um, but I think, yeah, it just wasn't. But it was Damn. a cool experience. I yeah. mean, 21 jokes. 21 jokes. Like, if you watch. So I've been trying to, like, write more. And I never really learned how to write. Yeah. So I've been, like, doing all the, like, ch- cheesy, like, college courses and stuff yeah. like that. And it's, like, yeah, per, for a multicam, um, they try to have one joke per, like, or minute. three jokes per. Yeah, it has to be one joke per minute, basically. Right. Like, a, like right. every beat is, like, a, a joke, a bop, a bop, bop. Or, like, a setup, setup, joke. Setup, yeah. setup, joke. Um, and it's crazy. That's God, essentially so how, cool. I mean, yeah, if you think about so it, good th- health. it's written a lot like how Will and Grace was written, which is the same thing. I mean, just nothing but I just punch rewatched lines. the pilot. I was like, God damn it. It's so good. By the way, there was a boom shot in one of the, in one of the shots. I was like, oh, my God. Wow. Really? And yeah, in the in your shot episode. Where he does the, like, the credit card bit uh-huh. where he's like, Appro- denied, denied, denied yeah. approved. Approved. Like a boom comes into the shot. No fucking way. Yeah, I took a picture. I was like, uh, uh, uh. I need to check that out. I know I love like finding shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I watched, I rewatched every pilot, like Jefferson's, All in the Family, mm-hmm. Designing Women, oh, um, Designing, Two Broke Girls. Girl, Designing mm-hmm. Women, mm-hmm. literally Sorry. one of the best shows. I, I never even knew about it. So I'm writing a. That's uh, like your. Oh, girl, that is yeah. like that is my whole. You thing. need to have. Are like you a, kidding yes. me? No, it's what I've. Yeah. Been it's set in Atlanta. I too, am. Right? The, it's set in Atlanta. Um, it. I mean, it. It raised me. Like that was. It was the first time I had ever seen like liberal Southern women, and I loved it. So I've. I've all always been which i would use in a bio or something but nobody people like this fucking kid never over here seen it have no know. idea but it's like I it's feel- a bunch of women and they work in like they're basically they work in a design they own a design shop yes. but it all takes place in this like very beautiful it's like basically one set the whole thing yeah like, the whole thing crazy. is all yeah. in this design yeah r- but it's in a house it's in an old house and it, it would be like set in buckhead if it were mm. real it would be like right next to the governor's mansion, like on the way to the Yeah, it's just like line. beautiful, overly decorated house. Like, yeah, and is everything it like takes their place shop, there. their studio? So it's mm-hmm. their, yeah. it's their offices, yeah. but it's all spread. Honestly, I, I love like... the set. I'm obsessed with it's the set. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, another But comment. now Hacks, like, what a career. Right? Dude. Oh, oh she's literally. in it. She's like, we the were main yeah, literally yeah. talking about this last night, but it's like, yeah. I've always felt like I was the, the perfect combo of like Suzanne and Julia Sugarbaker. Oh I'm my like, God, it's so true. I never put it together. I know. I'm like, I've got the actual pattern background and here's the thing delta is still around delta burke is still around right and so i'm writing two two versions of this uh this show because one yeah. would be a spin-off and one would just be inspired by just in case you i know, think the spin-off is CBS such a good idea that. because when i saw it i was like wow it was so ahead of its time like yeah. all women they're all like very different but all very similar <sighs> to like and it really tackles a lot of like big subject Every matters, su- like a lot of men stuff, cheating, oh relationship my God. stuff. How, how like, old are they? Because I want I want to show older. that they're not like I'm 26. Oh, oh not no, no, no. These are, out. no. Well, also they look older because it's like the 90s, because like it's the, the 90s. 90s. And all so they, they yeah, pads yeah, they, they're in their 30s. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I'm 33. I'm like, wow, you look really going on 45. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, right. They're like, You're like, are you gonna retire? I would say from 30s to like 50s. Yes, that's what I want. Dixie was the oldest. Maybe she's like six. No, I mean she's late fifties. Yeah, in the show, yeah. I think she was supposed to be like in her forties, but yeah, like yeah. You said, they're all. I want that. I want oh, like so good. I want like forties, fifties stars. Me too. Don't we want... don't need any more shows about like broke girls. Like yes. I don't want that. Like, I mean, I'm all about like the the secret sex lives of college girls or the sex lives, whatever. Those are great shows and all that. But once again, <laughs> cannot fucking relate. Cannot. We can't relate in any way whatsoever. Also, these girls are all doing much better than me in comedy, so I can't we can handle it. I'm saying this I can't, like, I can't it. handle it. Literally. I'm like, <laughs> they had to pay no dues. Oh, yeah, yeah, make a show that I can grow into. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally, though. Make a yeah. show that I can be cast in, really, yeah, right, is right, what right, we're saying. Right. But yeah. yeah, so we're modernizing that whole idea. But the, the shocking thing, if you go back and watch, even, I mean, that show started in the late 80s, and it every single episode tackled stuff that we still talk about today. I watched it's a wild. whole thing about yeah. how, just because you're liberal, it was Dixie, like, fighting with a political pundit. And Wait, I don't think I saw that. Wait, oh, is so it later good. on? I'll I'm on, like, okay, okay, please. I'm on, like, I'm on still on season one. So. I think it's season, like, two or three. It is. 
okay. is absolutely incredible. But she talks about how just because I'm a liberal doesn't mean I'm not a Christian. Doesn't mean I'm not that because he's trying to say, oh, so you're against all. And she's right. like, no, absolutely not. It's actually the most like she's trying to defend the fact that like, no, I actually care about all people. Right. And I want all people. You know, you're supposed to forgive yeah. people in this. Oh my God, it's, not me. I this hate is wild. People. That was one of her best. That. <laughs> but it's one. Yeah, it was wild. It was I'm, pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, I'm all an right. anti-human liberal. No, but sure. it is ahead of its time, and the, we don't really have any shows that show women that are like a little later in. I mean, I guess we a little bit, but kind like of. not that, not in a network setting, like 100%. where it's like everybody's watching it. You right. know, yeah. yeah, there hasn't been anything like Golden that girls. in a minute. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking about speaking of uh, women who've been through some shit and deserve some airtime, uh, <laughs> right? That's a good transition. That's a great yeah. transition. Speaking of mm. chummy times, <laughs> Jane. Yes. All right. All right. We won't, we're going. We don't to a know story. your story. Yeah. yeah. So um, we, we've we we don't know anything about we don't it. Know it. So take mm-hmm. us back to the beginning of it. Like, who is Jade? Like, oh is wow, she, my whole where story. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, the inception of the relate. I'll yeah, start yeah, with yeah. this. I'll start with this. this. Is really fun. I went to a sex party like many years ago for fun and met this German guy. I went to his house the next day and he wanted me to peg him, but I couldn't because he had herpes. Whatever. Right. Long story short, <laughs> was it the herpes or was it or was it the pegging? pegging? Well, the whole the thing German. was weird because I had met this French girl at this sex party. Okay, and mm. and I was really into her, but yes. I didn't get her number. And the next day he texted me and said the French girls here i go oh my god the french girl i show up there's a different french girl there like he bait and switched me i'm like what is this you're like there's more than one yeah um, Yeah. i didn't know so so it was a big moment for me (laughs) (laughs) and um but he had like a very visible like which i by the way i have no stigma around like if you have stuff whatever just let me know similar to this one that's you know just let me know just let me know we'll go yeah he had like a herpes thing right here Wait, so, oh, a face one? A face one. Oh, I live with face herpes. Right. So yeah. so I go, hey, let's just talk about it. Like, let's be really open about it. Like, what's going on? And he had this whole, like, fake story about some dog biting him. And I'm like, no, this guy's yeah. not telling face me the truth. Herpes. He bait and switched me. I got to move out. Yeah. He's like, well, you can still peg me and not kiss. Whoa. Not what I'm into. Okay. No, absolutely yeah, not. I kiss, I kiss while I peg. I kiss while I peg. Yeah. yeah. And if yeah. I can't, I, need you to look you better, over I won't do it. You, have a, you better have a flexible neck. By the way, I had never, yeah. I had, I've never pegged a guy. It was something really on my to do list at the time. I was like mm-hmm. really DTF at that time. Have you and since? This I haven't. Important. It still has okay. not happened okay. for yeah. me. Right, I did. Still on the list. Um, still on the list. Okay. And whatever, like cut to, I did a show the other day and he was the DJ. Whoa. And I was like, I know you. <laughs> and he was like, no. I was like, I know you. you. Know, I, know I, you. I, know I know you. I know you in your soul. You go, yeah. I know that blister from it. Yeah, no. He was all cleaned up. I was like, forgot how hot you are. Maybe. Yeah. No. Is he you know? DJ Blistex or what is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DJ, DJ Blistex, but with three X's. Right. But so that was like a fun, that was a fun run in. I was like, that's my life. But um, it all began, it all began. I grew up in Brazil. You guys know, moved to Virginia. was like a very horny kid. Like really? lost my Virginia way too early in a Bronco. I have a joke about it. Right. Like, yeah. um, it was very traumatic. I hooked up with assholes, like mm-hmm. was not in control whatsoever. Knew I was gay really early on, mm-hmm. was like, definitely like in love with my best friend Carolyn, um, mm-hmm. and but didn't know that till I was like in college. Went to Emerson, really liberal school. I was yeah. like very bi then, but would like date guys and then just hook up with women when I was drunk sure. and was like, it doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> they're not people. <laughs> um, <laughs> like literally, did not understand like right. my anxiety right. around it. And all my friends were gay, and like I couldn't be fully gay. And I always were was in relationship with men. Mm-hmm. Dated a dude for eight years, which was all, dated like a guy in high school first, and then. A dude for eight years and then I just got out of a three-year relationship with wow. like a beautiful perfect guy mm-hmm. um, but decided that I needed to like explore right, some more yeah. my sexuality before yeah. you know my pussy's really saggy right and so what do you yeah. well not to delve too much into this and you don't have to answer my you pussy don't want, but yeah you're I would really care <laughs> no. more about how tight your pussy is uh currently perfect. no um so tight <laughs> what uh <laughs> I <laughs> the point to the camera. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Zoom? Yeah. What exactly do you think it was? I'm bi as well. Yeah. So just curious. Yeah. Like, what do you think that it was that you kind of like suppress that? Like, you know, it's really weird because like even early on, I like hated lesbians. Like I had this like real, I think it was projecting yeah. like my inner whatever I wasn't like exploring. Mm-hmm. So I'd be like, look at that dyke. Like yeah. I would always make all these early on in my comedy. I had all these jokes about like lesbians and like oh, all this man. stuff but it was my own projection it was my own projection like i remember it was like oh who was it? who's that really good uh comic oh my god what's her name Heather. lesbian comic what, like her fortune whole... no no keep Tignataro, going my favorite hair like this she's like 
Oh, Car- Cameron Carmen es- Cameron Esposito. Esposito. Cameron. I'd always be like, we get it. You're a lesbian. Like, I was <laughs> yeah. just so angry at people who made it their yeah. whole thing. Yeah. And that was my own yeah. thing about not expressing myself and, like, not being fully where I wanted to be because I'm really comfortable in men relationships. Like, I know the mm-hmm. dynamic and it's unhealthy. Right. <laughs> um, and so I'm finally, like, figuring out that I want to have a more healthy Do relationship. You, w- would you say that maybe the relationships with um, a- another woman is... Um, intimidating because it's more it would require more of like revealing of myself yeah emotional like um you're getting in touch emotionally and like and like um like in the relationship yeah in the relationship like more more honesty more communication more like um yeah because you can be in a a, a relationship with a man of control i think it's control and i had some stuff with my dad my dad was like by the way, he's a he, we're great now. We're, we've been going to therapy for years, but he was really verbally abusive as a kid, mm-hmm. and so I was really bullied as a kid. And I didn't, I never really developed that sense of self, mm-hmm. and so like I never really fully followed my gut. Like any anywhere else but stage, I'm like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And uh, on stage, yeah. I'm like, look at my foot. Like I'm like, yeah. It's kind of the character I always wanted to be, so I think that's why I really gravitated towards stand up. And now I'm just trying to like bring that into my personal. life, my yes. personal life. Okay, um, and great. I also am scared because I'm like not as sensed like in bed with women. I'm yeah. not like as experienced. Yeah. And so and I don't like being, being bad at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Who sure. does? No. Um, well, especially comics. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I bring the mic. They're like, what are you doing? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not doing this bedroom yeah. open mic. Exactly. Yeah. And so, yeah, just that kind of that. And also, I never felt like a hot woman would like me. That's my right. own like self, my own like self hatred and stuff. But I'm working on self love now. Like I buy, I sell merch now. So that's like a big deal. Right. Um, right. <laughs> like I always thought like they don't want to. They're barely coming yeah. to the show. Like I'm like making them come to a show. Now they want, but I'm like, oh, people want to support me, and so it's like it's all to it all mm-hmm. goes together. Isn't that yep. funny? Like so now it's the merch and the girlfriend, the merch and the girlfriends, the merch and, the girlfriends. and um, you know, maybe I'll be that. a little bit of a pillow princess for a sec while sure. I learn. Well, you then... learn, yeah. Hey, yeah. some people like a pillow princess. They do. Some people like... I'm more of a power bottom. I'm never like still. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're like, what if just your mouth moved? But yeah. I did and everything like, else. At, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 All right. But so, I'm on okay. the apps. I'm on the girl apps now. Yeah. Good. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm okay. so excited for this It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting. Okay. Know, right? All right. Sorry. Go back to, to that story. So college. Uh, so college, whatever. Yeah. So my first, like, so in Virginia, I was like, I did not have a lot of friends. Like I made like two friends. You met one of them, Kitty, like oh, who yeah. I still am friends with. Kitty and Amanda were like my only two friends. They were like my the weirdos in town. And I started going to summer camp at, um, at Tisch. At, at oh, NYU, wow. doing like these yeah. summer programs there, nice. and that's when I started to kind of like find myself. And this one guy was uh, in my dance class, and he like shimmied across, and I was like, "Oh my god, look at that guy shimmy!" And it was just so exciting <laughs> for a guy to be so like not feminine, but like openly, because I'm coming from Virginia, right? Sure. These dudes right. are like mm-hmm. lacrosse players yeah. Yeah. and like, well, I'm fishing. I'm yeah, playing. like exactly those guys, like Virginia yeah. guys, and so I had never really seen. And this guy was obsessed with musical theater, which at the time was top of my list yeah. still kind of is but yeah. and so he was like so we started dating long distance so I started dating mm-hmm. this guy and he was like we were very serious very quickly like mm-hmm. that's how all my early relationships would be I'd mm-hmm. be like already going to the weddings as the date and like mm-hmm. I was very obsessed and very codependent early on because mm-hmm. that's how my family structure was mm-hmm. so we start dating long distance and it's like awesome we're like Having, I'm like having sex. Like I'm every every time I'm in New York, I'm like, well, I'm in New York. Like, yeah, very exciting. So, and were you going to school in Virginia? I was still like in high school. Oh, you were in high school. Was he in high school? Because these were summer. He was in high school. So yeah. you're, you 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 oh. were like family. I'm gonna go visit my yeah, high school boyfriend did... in New York. No, because my actually my dad really they they knew that's this is what I wanted to do. So my dad like helped me get an apartment in New York, and he would come and stay with me a little. And I'm then, sorry, as a teenager. Yeah, I was a teenager. I also had a fake ID that he made. Your dad made? Yeah, because he made holograms, so I had like a really good fake idea. Oh. Sorry, Dad, I feel like I'm getting you in trouble. Please don't listen. It's, it's his birthday today, too. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Daddy. Yeah. Um, statute of limitations, I think, is fine. Right? Yeah, no, he, but good. they knew this is what I wanted to do, so they were really, very... Inc- and I was like a very, very responsible teenager. Like, I would never break rules. Like, I'd, right. I was just very... This like, is fascinating. So I went to, t- okay. so I was going to Tish and like dating this guy. Um, and then I did a summer camp the following summer. So we had been together, I think, for like, a year maybe I don't remember the time sorry mm-hmm. I think this was the following summer I got into another summer camp at Hofstra University it was a dance camp at mm-hmm. Hofstra and I was supposed to stay with we'll call him Howie Howie sure. love it Mandel you know yeah yeah it was Howie Mandel, Mandel at Hofstra <laughs> and 
the shimmy dude. You look great for your age. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah, I dated him when he was on the cartoon. So that was yeah. like Bobby's 80s. world. Yeah, yeah. Bobby's world. <laughs> I love that cartoon. It's such a good well, cartoon. We all have ADHD. Yeah. I'm sorry, Renee. <laughs> so it's I'm with Howie. I'm gonna spend the summer. Oh, let me come back a second. We when we would have sex, we would call it eating cake. That was like our little, Wow. you want to eat cake? Because we weren't like really supposed to be having sex yet. You know what yeah, I mean? It was like yeah. kind of early on. Yeah. And who knew that we were going to call ass cake later, you know? Right, right, who knew right. That? that was, no wow. one saw that coming. Eat I actually that invented cake. that now that I'm going back on it. Right. Yeah. No, so that was like our little fun keyword for it. And I was supposed to go stay with him for the summer and do this after I'm done with this Hofstra University thing. And I was really excited because I was like going to get to be in New York another summer. But I could tell that he was being like kind of distant and weird. And he had just gotten into like, remember Summerstock? Yeah. Oh. It's yes. like you would it's do like a paid, theater. yeah, it's like paid theater for like high school students. And like, God, it's like I local. To it Me so too, so bad. I could never get bad. in it. So it's like a big deal. You get paid. It's like yeah. basically now doing like a, a ship gig. Like, yeah. Like a cruise really? gig. Yeah. It's really? like a summer but gig. as a teenager. Like yeah, you could be kid. a working And you make like good money. Yeah. And it, yeah, you could get into SAG. It was like oh. a major thing. Wow. Yeah. So he got into this like production of- Is is this a new guy or is this- is Howie. This, this, this is, is Howie. This is the new guy. Have you been up with the guy? No, this is Howie. This is the guy. This is the guy. I thought the it was dancer a different guy. From the, yeah. Met so okay. I'm with the dancer now. Okay. You're with are, the are dancer. You yeah. The shimmy, how, you shimmying, shimmying Howie. And eating cake. Shimmying Howie. And eating cake. Yeah. Love his family. His family's great. They live in Westchester. Loving it. Yes. Love that's like where I met all my friends. Westchester that's why I sound like this. Like my accent, like a, that's why I like that's who I became. Like I became a New York person very yeah. Yeah. quickly. We're dating, but he's being kind of distant and being kind of weird. And he comes to visit me at the camp and he's being weird and I can tell something's going on. And so the yeah. camp ends, he drives me to his house and I go into his bedroom and he's like working at this like theater thing. He's like at some rehearsal. And he has to leave really quick, so we have sex in the shower. I get my period, which was already like kind of weird. Living a full blown Sex in the City like grown adult life, and you're a teenager. And you are teenagers. Well, now I'm eighteen. Yeah, but still, now I'm eighteen. Like and sex Brazilian, in the so I'm like basically and thirty. Like, yeah, you're like he's got to get to work. <laughs> yeah, you're like, we're at his parents' house, by the way. Like we're we having have sex, sex in the shower. Sex in the shower before the kids wake up. We're eating some cake. Run to work. Yeah. He's got a deadline to meet. You're this like you're eighteen. Is, exactly, I'm eighteen. This is wild. Okay. I was already, by the way, like very wanted to be an adult. Like sure. from the age twelve, oh, I was so already did I. like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Do and you have, do you have siblings? Sex, I have a younger sister. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. and um, so we have sex in the shower. I get my period. It's like kind of you know it's awkward. He doesn't care, but it's kind of like this weird like. Oh, yeah. okay. Like, I feel the disconnect. He goes to work. I'm in his bedroom and I'm just like kind of looking around because I feel like something's weird. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of friends in common. And a couple of the kids from Tish from the summer camp are also in the summer stock production mm -hmm. with him. And I'm already feeling left out because, like, I auditioned and did not like yeah, get a part right, in it. Yeah. Like, not even the chorus, you know? Yeah. So I see this frame of him and this blonde girl oh it's me sorry it's you yeah shit. i'm thinking this girl's hot <laughs> if she didn't do comedy i would pursue it right right <laughs> so i turn it around and it says had so much fun with this summer with you especially eating cake no <gasps> she loves cake too <laughs> I'm so upset the right now. The blood like like drops from my face immediately. I know. Immediately I know he's cheating on me. Immediately. Of immediately. All the things come together, the distance, like of the course. weird sex, like him not really by the way, I had just done a number um at my dance thing. He was not even excited about it. I was like, Why aren't you excited about this dance number I just did? He was just being weird. So I find a camera and I'm and I look through it. It's <gasps> like an old camcorder, right? Like like old school camcorder. This yeah. is now like early 2000s. So it's like pretty crusty like still. Like a handy cam. Like those yeah. kind of like. And I'm just yeah. watching it on the camera. And it's like them at Bush Gardens Are holding you hands. Are kidding me? Them like in bed, like kissing. Like how old is this man? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This, is it was this crazy. 42? No, he's a high schooler. So I call like a mutual friend. <laughs> what a bizarre. Oh, I forgot. Sex there was like Bush a party Gardens. too that we had gone to before this. And it, he was being weird. But I call like our mutual friend. And I'm like, what is this? And he's like. I'm like, does everybody know? He's like, everybody knows it's been and going on. Like nobody all told you. Nobody told me. So how long? Okay, so I'm curious because it don't had think been I, going on for like months. That's what I was. And and how long had y'all? Like probably like I don't remember. I want to say like a year. It's because I had met him the summer before, so okay. it had been so like a whole year. A year. Yeah, yeah, at least a year. And um, I'm so sorry. I'm telling the story. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know who you are. Uh, <laughs> we're still friends. Yeah. Um, 
We're sorry, Shimmy. Hey, so I, hey, so you, I see all this stuff <laughs> and I call and he's like, yeah, and I'm hysterical. So his mom comes in and she has a book she has bought me about breaking up. Like what? She what? already bought, so she was wait. Did yeah. she plant all of the clues? She for put you to the find? frame. She She's wrote like she wrote the frame. thing on. The, it's not even the girl. Yes. The girl. His mother said it all. Didn't up. like me. Yeah. Yes. I just wanted him to meet a nice white girl. Not yeah. you. Yeah. Not yeah, you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, um, yeah. Well, I mean, would you dye your hair blonde? Would you, like, would, this so, is the only virginal thing left on my body. Right. No right, one's right. touching this. The, uh, come to find out, she was the one making all the right. videos. No, but she I, she was very sweet, but she was yeah. like, "Hey, I know this is going to be a hard transition." Like she sat me down, she what had this little fuck? book, and I'm freaking out, and I don't want to call him yet because I'm so angry. But this I also is weird. This did is you? So how weird. did she know so, you found out? Because I was like hysterical, like in his bedroom, when, and I'm sure that I said something to her. I've always been like very open with parents. Like, did it's she a just? Would she hear you crying and walked in with the book, and she was like, hey, "Yeah, she had this yeah. little book." <laughs> And it was like, it, I forget what, what it was. So is, yeah, it was like a transition. It was like, it's okay, breakups or I forget what it was. I think I still have it. <laughs> I really hope you do. This is absurd. That she so was then like, that happens. And I don't want to tell my parents because I'm supposed to be staying in New York for like another month at his house in Westchester. And I'm like trying to be in New York. Like, I don't want to go yeah. back to fucking crusty ass Charlottesville, Virginia that summer. Yeah. So I had met this girl in my dance camp. And she was like, she was just this really cool girl. Her mom was like one of those young, like owned a spa. Like mm -hmm. she's like, come stay with me in Westchester. And I'm like, okay. So I like literally don't tell my parents that it happened. And I go and I like move in with this girl and her mo young mom. Yeah. And I met her cousin and fucked him in that kitchen, right. their kitchen. And sure. we're still friends too, Nick. And um, that was that. And then so you just stayed with her for the rest of the month. Yeah. And then I eventually told my parents. I was going to say. They yeah, I eventually told out. my parents. Yeah. Yeah. But I ran into him like when I was doing Girl Code and he was like working concierge at some hotel. And I was okay. like, oh, I just finished shooting. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> you work here. Oh. <laughs> Could you give me a car? I actually recommend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Could you just, just pull some up. restaurants. Yeah. You pull a book out of your purse. And no, it's we're like, cool. We're chill. It's I'm a, like. It's about it's how to book. grow in your career. No, it's another one. Like how to transition from an actor. How to deal, yeah. How to deal with concierge. your ex doing better than you. Yeah. Well, by the way, by the way, later I didn't get into Cap 21. Like everybody did. Like yeah. into that Tish program that yeah. I did. Like everybody got in and I didn't. And I remember like dropping to my knees like, why? You know, <laughs> so much better. But you're like, yeah. take this, take this. Let's see if they take this. Oh, yeah. Boy. But that's the only time I've, that's been my one cheating story. And it took me a long time to get over it. And like, we've talked about it. Like we've, we've become friends over the years. And I like told him how much it hurt me. And like, mm -hmm. because I just did it, it totally like blindsided me. Like, yeah. Yeah, that I is was, a shock, well, though. Well, it was you, a shock. You were a you were a baby playing, adult. playing house, playing house. Which, by the way, I continued to do. Like mm -hmm. every other relationship became very serious very quickly. Mm -hmm. Until I, now, I cannot relate more. I mean, it is insane. I have been in Me long too. term serious relationships <laughs> since I was fifteen years old. Same. Like, well, until this last one. Every, this last one was more, yeah. more like more of what I, what I need. Yeah, like, a more understanding, more open. Did, did y'all live together? He lived in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Did y'all live together? Yeah, no, he lived in my apartment. Yes. That was my ex for no, sure. Instead, he lived he in my apartment. No, instead, he actually just lived apartment. in my apartment. No, he lived, yeah, we lived together for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It was mostly long distance because he was in Denver. He was first in Dallas and then in Denver. But mm -hmm. this last relationship was the healthiest, most beautiful relationship I've ever had. And yeah. it was really, really hard to mm. decide to kind of like do things on my own. Yeah. So you did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not that that's not part of this uh, episode or whatever. But so like, who was it that did? So that yeah. you're like, it's like part yeah. of the podcast? No, yeah, yeah. it's not. But I mean, so that's, but that's good. You needed to explore other things and like. Yeah, I think it's been since then that I've been in the same kind of rhythm of like, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to do whatever I think yeah. is a relationship versus like what I actually want. Mm -hmm. Are you, do you feel excited? Do you feel like. Like, like I'm still kind of in the grieving. I'm still kind of grieving, you know? Yeah. Um, but I am, I can see a little bit, like I just got on the apps like a couple days ago and like started kind of looking and mm -hmm. although it's disappointing how many uggos are out there, yeah. um, <laughs> it's exciting too. Even like that I need someone cool. Best picture. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this well, this is, is the one. Yeah. The one Not even a sharp you did, photo? Yeah. 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 What do you look like with a sharp, in a sharp photo? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So um, this is recent then. So this yeah, this like just crazy. happened. Yeah, we broke up right before Christmas. Oh. But the cheating thing happened in the Oh, no, no, no. I meant like the current yeah, yeah, relationship. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm curious about then is that whole experience with Howie back in New York. 
did do you think that that affected you in any other relationships? Did did you yeah. become the yeah. very first ones? I was like really crazy about trust. I used to be very jealous, mm-hmm. like very jealous. A- after this relationship. Yeah, like even it with my ex, like I was very jealous. Like I had a hard time with his, even his successes. Like mm-hmm. I had a hard time feeling like I really wanted to feel like one. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's like a codependent, unhealthy thing. It's because I didn't have me. Like I didn't have my own back. You, you, you I wasn't whole. Yeah, you were insecure. You felt I, I I don't I wonder if it's like a um No, you're writing you're in the right direction. You were insecure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. like if if they had success, then they I don't know if it was like a leave you thing. It was. It was like you're gonna leave me you're and leave. you're yeah. gonna become successful and leave me and fuck mm-hmm. some girl at summer stock. Right. What? Yeah. 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 Like I. It's and that no, would be girl. illegal because you're gonna get, she would be. Underage. She would be in a child. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. get in her blonde bush gardens. Oh, that's good. I'm sorry. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it was bad. That's, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even Bush Gardens it makes me my eye twitch still. So <laughs> have you gone to Bush Gardens? No, I just ba- I just boycotted it ever since. Oh no, but it did. It really did affect me. And I told him like when we had like our you know come to Jesus moment, I was like, hey, you kind of fucked me up. Like I had a lot of trust issues really early on and was yeah. very jealous. Like, why did you look at that direction? It's like what? It's like there was women in that direction. Like just overly. Yeah. And then this last one, I I trusted him so intensely mm-hmm. that I didn't have that anymore. Yeah. And I was like, Isn't oh, that whoa. nice? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. cool to have. Because I, I was like, he loves me. I trust him. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm yeah. grateful. Well, here's okay. Sorry, we did. I don't feel like I got like a full like closure with the other story because yeah. you had the breakup conversation with the mom. What was yeah. it like when you do you remember like when you confronted? Old it was dude? just like tears. Did he, he like come he home from work and you're like in his bed just crying and bleeding? I kind of don't remember that part. Like I fully, to be fully honest, I know that we broke up and I went and stayed with my friend Alex. Um, so did he say we're breaking up over there? I mean, were you willing or were no, you? No, I think like, it was wow, just like this cheated. weird understanding. Yeah, I, uh, I did the whole like, holy shit, you did this. Yeah. And he's like, it's been long like, distance. Like sad shimmy. I kind of don't. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, uh, I think. Yeah. And. <laughs> He married like a very successful Broadway actress and oh. they look identical. Oh, you know when that happens when you so see bizarre. like it's yes. called self love, baby. Yeah, it is. Cause I'm like swiping on girls that look just like me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, ding, yeah. Ding, yeah. Ding. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's your clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about Dua Lipa earlier and you are just a tiny version yeah. of Dua Lipa. Yeah, I, that's it can't get any better. Miley is like my number one. Like Miley's. Oh really? I just yeah. She's yeah, like, she's so it doesn't hot. get any hotter. I don't yeah, think she's, she's like, great. I, I'm like, is she, to me, I'm like, there's no, there's, is she might be a robot. Like, there's no, no way you Molly's can No, a real perfect. person. I know, but she's. <laughs> Did you just do, do Miley? Yeah, she's a real person. She's like, just like, she just wants to find love. <laughs> She's in love right now, and it hurts my feelings. Wait, is it with the who? girl she brought out? No, it's with the, it's a guy. It's a guy. He's another musician. How disappointing. N- do you know the girl I'm talking? about? I don't know who she is. That she was, brought her out. What's for his her name? New Year's um, New Year's Eve. Thing. Caitlyn Jenner's son. What's his name? N- no, it was a woman. I know, but it was his wa- ex-wife. Oh, oh. Uh, Brody. Brody's ex-wife what's is who name? she brought to Caitlyn. I want to. No, it's not Caitlyn. <laughs> she's she's a phenomenal singer. blonde girl. Yes. Yeah. No, they just went to Italy together. It was a short. St- it was a but short was, stint. No, no. The, is that the girl that she brought out for her New Year's show? And she was. Oh, like, that's Fletcher. No, that was just who a stage is Fletcher? thing. Fletcher is like gay icon. Is she super incredible singer, pop star? She's amazing. Okay. She's amazing. But she's so she hot. was. Right. I I was watching them just um, sing and caress each other on the stage, and I was. Yeah. I slipped out of my car. Yeah, yeah, it was so yeah, hot. Right? Yeah, that New Year's my car thing. That New Year's thing was so hot. Yeah, it yeah. Was, I no, it was all put on. It. I did not watch it. I, my birthday's New Year's Eve. <gasps> So I'm so sorry. That's so yeah, it's so annoying. It's but, so that is the correct response. It's hard so for annoying. friends, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it like, is. Yeah. It's like I, now I have to spend New Year's like, with you. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, all my plans. Yeah. Didn't fucking show up. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. I'm over. What it. did you do? I'm over it. Uh, wait till you hear what she did. <laughs> I was You're such a. I had, so I had. I I had I bowel movements. I was. I was You're so sick. COVID. I. I, it ended up being fine. It's yeah. it's always a tough birthday though, because, and most people are like, "Oh, what a fun birthday!" It's never. Fucking I want something fun. to do, so I would have done it. I just right? want plans. Thank I was you. with my sister, like taking bong grips. Like that's it all we dinner, did. It was dinner. Yeah, it was it was a good dinner, really fun, good dinner. And then uh, there was a fucking Georgia game. That big like big big Georgia game was on. Georgia? Two of my friends me, yeah. are really huge Georgia fans. Went to Georgia, blah blah, blah whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, cool. I'll. It doesn't matter. We're drinking. So we went to a sports bar, watched the game for a little bit. But it was still fun. I ran into like somebody I know that here in LA. 
We were in this LA. was all in Atlanta, oh, Atlanta and okay. somebody <laughs> sent over like two bottles of champagne to the table. I mean, so all night, that is the one good thing about it being your birthday is no matter, you can just bar hop, restaurant, it doesn't matter and where you go. And they'll take care of you. Everyone, they're like, oh my God, it's, it's kind of an in. in. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. So that, and then went to the punchline and then- uh, yeah. There's a punchline in Atlanta? Yeah, it's not yeah. the same as same Owner, I They're love not. the punchline. That's like yeah. one of the best clubs. It's well, the punchline in Atlanta is the oldest uh, comedy club there. It started, they opened it in like 82, I think, I don't think something I've like ever that. done comedy there. What? Oh my God, Come to Atlanta. Dude, I know, I think maybe like it. featuring, but I've never headlined there. Oh Dude, my God, should, please. Yeah. I'm going to slow down on the road this year. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> You're, gonna you're, gonna go, d- you're not going to go on the road? I'm going to go on the road just a little bit. It really, it's oh. hard for me, you guys, mentally. Really? It's really We're hard for me. We're both going way more I'm, this I'm year. Really? Yeah. I'm like a, yeah. If I didn't have my dog and I didn't have like yeah. my skincare products, sure. I would be so much happier. Like, wait, wait, you can't fly with your skincare? No, How I fly much? with it all. It's just, it's like my dog's uncomfortable. I have to let her out every night. Like, I don't, I can't rest. There's no resting. Yeah. It just like feels crazy to me. Like, I don't know. I'm liking it more because I'm finally selling tickets. Like, finally. Like, it took me years. Like, and still every night I'm like, it might just be a few, it might just be six people. No, it's, Um, yeah. My favorite is like when you, when you're consecutively like in different cities though, that's, that's the highs and lows. Like, I had a DC show sold out. So pumped. Where? Arlington? Um, DC Loft. The Mazel. I've never sold out a show. Thank you. Yeah. And then next day, Buffalo, 22 people. Yep. And then yeah, you, you have to be like, know. I swear, the last one was, it was sold out. And yeah, you <laughs> yeah, have to yeah, yeah. say that. Everyone's yeah. so, and that's then, yeah, so and everyone's depressing. there, like, they have a coupon. The waiter's I mean? like, like they... great, I sold one drink. I'm like, yeah. okay, I hope you make money. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, combo like, of you, your following, what you do. But it's also, it's, it's a big part of that is the venue and what they do for the you. The venue, Very what much. weekend it is, like, what other things yeah. are happening, yeah. who else is in town. Like, there's such, so many things that contribute. Yes, exactly. I was in Jacksonville on, like, two Saturdays ago. I was so pumped. And then, like, the Jags, like, their their football team like yeah. made it to the playoffs for the first time in a decade and it was a home game in Jacksonville that day during that my shows yeah. and yeah. I was like this is I was like can we just cancel like there's yeah. no yeah. there's no the whole city doesn't sometimes I dream care. about that I'm like hey okay. should we just yeah I know I'm, I'm like, like hey, hey is the Sunday show off right yeah. right 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 can right. I just go cancel? do my nails can <laughs> we can we just say no comedy on Sundays can we yeah can, can we, we just say it? no comedy in forever forever. Yeah, Let's but sometimes they're fun because you're so loose with it after it the is. whole week. I actually really love Thursday shows, and everyone gets mad at me, but I, I really love a Thursday show. Yeah. I do too. I like a Thursday. You know? Sunday, I think people are the most excited about Thursday because me too. the week, the whole weekend is ahead of them. Exactly. Yes. There's some like optimism in the air. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But Sunday but. shows, if they happen, they should have to be during the day. It should be a brunch type. A brunch. Of thing. Oh, I would brunch love a brunch show. show. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if every yeah. club had a brunch show? Like, I think that that just knock it out and then yeah. you go ahead and get on a plane and go that. back to where the I just want to be done. Like, I literally, if done. I can find like a flight at that night, I'll do it. Oh, I do it all the time. Like, I just, I think, I think I just feel so displaced yes. on the road. Like, all the, pa- I literally pack like a sound machine, a protein shake. Mm-hmm. I'm mostly vegan too, so it's like eating on the road is a fucking nightmare. Oh, yeah, it's hard. The worst. Um, yeah, but I so. love it. If you can catch like a flight like that, like I love like leaving a show, dumb, dumb, rush dumb. and be like, oh, you God, have the check to too. You got the check got in your, pa- your backpack. Yes. And they're like, do you want to hang? You want to go get? And I'm like, no. I've got, uh, I've got a red eye. No. I've got to get to the. No. I got to get to the airport. And then yeah, I love doing that. That's one of my favorites. Me too. Yeah. I know. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I do. I love it. I'm totally addicted to it. But it is. It is. Diffi- like it's hard. Sure. it beats me up like it takes me a couple days to kind of recover oh like, when I'm I come back like, I'm like yeah. I'm a zombie yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not. and also your voice like your throat like people don't realize how much energy it takes to to travel to travel one and then talk an hour night. every twice you do two hours a night of talking and then you talk to people fucking after and then after you have to talk after. to people it's a lot I just sold merch for the first time my whole career what's your merch I got a hat that says chill dick bro it's okay. a joke I and a cap it. I love that I'll buy a cap. Thank you. And a cap. A really cute, like, a light jean. Like a hat. Oh, it's a cap. A cap. <laughs> okay. It's a cap. Let's. A cap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I've heard mm-hmm. that before. I've heard Please clip that as a. If you don't clip that as the That's teaser, the only teaser. I'm quitting. I just go, uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cap. Mm-hmm. Cap. Cap. Oh, okay. I've never been. Cap. Like a cap. Virginia, like, so cap. I never heard. <laughs> You know. I'm not from 1922. Yeah. Like a tip yeah. cap. Yeah, oh, this um, feels good. Yeah, no, it's so Isn't fun. it fun? Isn't yeah, it this see? feels good. Yeah. For the listeners uh, and not the not the viewers, we've it, got it's like SAMR. These little mm-hmm. uh what we we got, well, oh slime. Silly putty. It's, oh slime. It's, it's, it's like slime. Yeah. It is yeah, more like oh so fun uh, we were getting our little decor for the for shooting the pod and uh we saw these in the 
the Valentine's. No, line. I think it's really cute. It's, it's cute. Obsessed. This booth is cool. Yeah, it's right? cute. Right? All of this is very cool. This is very fun. Sad. Did you guys start this because you guys have been cheated on right. as well? Absolutely correct. That's exactly it. Yeah, and that's why. And much like you running into the concierge, it's um, mm-hmm. like us every day mm-hmm. putting out a new episode of Cheaty's podcast. Feels like running into your ex. Yeah. At the concierge desk. Do yeah. you? Did you guys date comics? Yeah. Hers was a comic. Mine was pre-comedy. Mine was the impetus for comedy. So I had... Like a DJ? Been with him. <laughs> well, I'd been with... Worse. Just oh, like no. Just like an out-of-work yeah. model. What's worse? Just like... <laughs> oh, God. <Yeah. laughs> um, but at least he was hot. He was so hot. And like, it's so hard But hot. so dumb and so mean. Uh, he did do some... Oh, no. Mean is my yeah. least favorite. Mean yeah. is like my... I'm just, done. Yeah. Real... Oh. Mm. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so, but that was like six solid years until I got my confidence back to be like, okay, I can do more and I've got more ahead of me and I don't need this and I don't. Yeah, I yeah don't like you're not living to. your life to the fullest. I think it yeah. comes that. Yeah. Also, so, isn't the out. whole concept of relationships kind of fucked? Like, did you guys watch, um, uh, was it uh, Fleischman is not okay? I started uh-huh. watching Brilliant. it. I yes. watched the first episode. I need it's to basically about a divorce. It's basically about a divorce couple. Claire Danes is in it. And yeah. Oh, I've seen. We yeah. kind of see yeah. like his perspective of what happened, and then we see kind of like her perspective mm-hmm. of like how it all happened. Oh, so I haven't yeah. got to that part yet. Oh. I've only seen. I've only seen his. So. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, and, and Lizzie isn't Kaplan. Lizzie Kaplan. Yeah, isn't she narrating? That's my like oh, number she's three. The, oh crush. my god, obsessed. Yes, and yeah. but isn't it like you, we you, we become one atom, right? You become one thing. You take so long to like kind of become this couple right mm-hmm. and then you kind of forget yourself and that's fucked up because that's why they fall in love with you in the first place and then they're mm-hmm. like wait you're not who i fell in love with you're like but i shifted to fit you to fit yeah you. yeah yeah and then you're, and so not I'm losing not... yourself yeah and then you, but i have my own wants and needs and it's not fitting in this yeah. anymore i know but i don't know I, I i have a fear that i'm that i'm maybe not good in re- like i haven't really learned how to do a relationship properly. i think that but i think there's you're... just different relationships for different times in your life that's is, right is sometimes the, that's true yeah, but you're so. doing it right now you're actively doing it yeah. you're you're aware of it and that's really cool got a new therapist he's great he's a cholo i love him so much he's like you're depressed <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and he goes okay yeah, like, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 150 dollars no it's through my insurance okay oh. yeah. wow all right, beautiful okay um all right okay. so we got a few wrap-up questions oh, for you. I like that you guys are like great therapy okay yeah, yeah questions yes. no so. no that's great I'm glad that you're in therapy I'm glad that you're doing Thanks. like self analysis I'm glad that you're you know being it feels like yourself. now I'm like I'm almost 40 <laughs> it's yeah. taking me this long yeah hey same I just started I yeah. just started therapy hey, recently how old are you I'm 38 I'm 39 I just turned look, right on New Year's Eve look good oh. mm-hmm. right yeah we look great though we look you guys are doing good. great Catherine looks yeah. old I'm 22 she no, you're not. not how old are you 31 22, 31 31 31, 31. 31. <laughs> right just sucking your soul from a distance Take it. <laughs> right so you'll get you'll get a little spray tan in there. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah. This bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Um, oh my God, are your bottle's well, not even broken yet. We, no. No. Oh, yeah. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't well. like a lot of mountain like like around the neighborhood. Oh, bruise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hung out with a lot of boys growing up. I can't. Mm-hmm. That you don't feel like that at all. Me. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I. Yeah. I don't, you don't feel like that at all, girl. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. Jeez. Catherine you're like, I went to, you're like, I went to, I, I went to summer camp at, at a dance school. I'm like, I lived in the creek in the summer night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, like, like, I caught catfish with my we, bare hands. We snakes. <laughs> she so. shit behind a bush yeah. recently. Okay. Oh, I like, love shitting outside. That's a, that's I a did personal it. favorite. Did, yeah, in, in honor of my mom's memory. In I shit behind a bush. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah so. I love to poop in the ocean. That's like a thing. So if you ever want to come out. Yeah, I'd love to come out with you. I'd love to come out and get it out. Yeah, get it out. All right. I'm. <laughs> I don't see anything it wrong. burns a little because like your butt goes back in it's salt, after. It's salt, it's salt, it's salt, it's salt. But then yeah. you feel clean. Yeah, right, 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 I love right. this. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, mm-hmm. next trip we're shitting in the ocean together. This is fun. Um, okay, so some follow up questions. Okay. Uh, what in that relationship specifically, the one that the, Howie, the Howie, the Howie one? one. What would you, if would you have done anything differently? If so. No. Good. Okay. Right. You, you learn. Answer. You grow. Yeah. No. You would go through the hurt to get to the. Um, pot of gold. Yeah, Ooh, that's wow. you got there. That. Yeah. Speaking of hurt, did that hurt your brain? I think just broke my butt. Try to come up with that. No that's it. <laughs> that's the that's moment. So broken. So proud yeah. to be here. Oh. No, I learned a lot. Like we were really good at weddings. Like we were the best dancers at weddings, mm-hmm. and you know, 
we yeah. had a lot of choreo that we came up with and sure so wait y'all went to a lot of weddings in high school wait what i'm yeah, so confused like a lot of like he had a couple family oh, the weddings family weddings right. yes. yeah. okay Thank god you what an adult. a real yeah. yeah yeah god that's yeah wild. we just love to like hang out and do taxes and um <laughs> Yeah. Insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I learned a lot. Planning. I would never, ever, ever take it. I wouldn't take any any of them back. Maybe a year off of my eight year one I would have sure. shaved off. Sure, sure, sure. It's not a lot. It's very minimal. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that all right, we've already covered where you are now relationship wise, which I think is a beautiful place. Uh I think where we have a good place. Where can people find you on the on the apps? Like oh. uh dating. Oh, wise? on the dating apps. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, on yeah, field, yeah. which is for threesomes and couples. But again, yeah. I don't want a couple, so stop asking. And uh <laughs> I just got on her. Oh, is her? Her is like the girl one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just girl, the girl hinge? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Or is it, is it hookup? No, it's less hookup. Right. You can pay more for the hookup one. You can't see people around you unless you pay like 40 bucks a month. I'm like, yeah. what? Damn. It's for straight up like dating. Like you're yeah. trying to yeah. meet someone. Yeah. Yeah, it's for dating. But yeah. Yeah, it's for dating, and it asks if you have pets, which I was like, oh, so gay of you guys. Yeah, yeah so adorable. Love so gay I love of you guys. guys. We have and of course I do. Yes. <laughs> Duh, of course. Yeah. Um, okay, very cool. And then what? And on Instagram, I feel like that's a good dating app. Which one? Instagram. Instagram. Oh yeah, Instagram? for sure. Oh, we'll get your. We'll we'll plug your socials and stuff in a in a in a second. So where? Um, okay, favorite form of self care for anybody who's going through like a thing, a bad thing, a phase, a phase, a transition. Um, I really just love smoking a joint and watching okay. Real Housewives, yes. any kind, yeah, any kind of Bravo show or Kardashian. Like I just love like zoning out to TV. Nice. Right. Um, Love Island. Right. Just all the classics. Love yeah. It. And love then it. also, I really like going to the spa by myself. Ooh, we spa by myself. What do you do when you go to the spa? What is your favorite thing to do? I do? love uh, the steam room. I just oh, love like, really. I just do, love do sitting bare pussy people? in there. Just no. I I usually go midday, so it's like there's nobody there. Yeah, perfect. But I don't know place. that I would strike up a conversation there, but maybe in the dressing room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. so steam room, love it. Yeah, and I love getting stuff done. Like yeah. you know, go get yourself a facial, yes. acupuncture. Yes. You know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. That's okay. That's my. I love that. Um, Wrapping up on the, yeah. the dumbest question. Dumbest. A hypothetical. You get. Sh- you goddamn. You get cheated on again. You're with oh. Dua Lipa. You get. You're cheated with Dua on. Lipa. You. She's on the road. You yes. Find out. Um. Would you rather the other person be... The segment's called Hotter or Notter. Would okay. you rather the other person be hotter or not or hotter than you? Not or hotter than me. So, th- yeah. Okay, and why? Yeah. Because... Mm, I don't know. I feel like if they're hotter than me, that's already, like, hurtful that they went for somebody hotter. Right. Mm-hmm. But if they're mm-hmm. not as hot, they're not getting something else from me, and I still feel hot. Yeah, yeah. Does that we're make sense? We're, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's so rare. Yeah, to be we're, not we're, really? in the, we're in the minority. Yeah. Most everyone says hotter, hotter because then they go, "Oh, well, it makes people. sense." I think we're a little bit no, no, and I'm no. like, no, no, no. See, no. we love There's ourselves enough. With us. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. It's like okay. you are missing something else from me, not hotness. Yes. Right. Like you got the hotness here. You went over there for whatever yeah. else yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's also, I don't think it would hurt as much if I. I mean, I do not want to get cheated on, but I think I'm in a different. Play, like sure I don't think I would date somebody who would do that yeah yeah well but who, nobody goes like he's gonna cheat on me yeah. no, yeah, you no. Don't know. I'm gonna date this guy because he's gonna fucking yeah. cheat on me but everything can can lead to five more minutes of material so uh, exactly yeah. that's how I feel I'm like let this happen let something happen to For me material. I can't talk about my dog anymore right, right. exactly yeah okay Good. so um god we, we could we, talk to you for eight more hours this is so fucking incredible are you gay or now or um, I'm always uh, every day I get point zero five percent closer. Yes. Oh my yeah, god! Yes. In like We're ten pretty years, sure she's asexual, you'll be ready. Yeah. I'm asexual, but are you yeah. dating someone now? Yes. yes. A, a man. A man. Mm-hmm. A man a, with a penis. Where does he live? Atlanta, Georgia. Is he moving here with you? No. Oh, that's too bad. I guess he won't be around, but I will. Well, every day I say <laughs> you have to compete with all the lesbians in my DMs. It's I true. get that too. I go, she... I go. What? What's the vibe I'm putting off? And then I look and down. No and look lesbians down. ever hit on me. Dude, Never. You. Oh. Let, well, Dude. well. Can you take just, a note? Can we just me? put a forwarding? Yes, thing I will on yours? forward to you. And it's a lot of lesbian couples that I get DMs. I from. don't want that. See, I don't want that. They just want a hoster at their house. Yeah, it's a lot. I, I'm always. I I'm mean, more. I think. I think they look at me more a as a dog. board and two girls eating you out. Yeah. Oh yeah, they like. They want to collect you. Yeah. They. I think it's that. I think yeah. it's that. I'm like yeah, more yeah, of yeah. a thing. I think yeah. we have very similar. When I found you online, I was like, whoa, we have very similar stage um, yes. rhythm. Yes. Yeah. So I'm really happy to meet you, and so nice to reconnect with you. Nice to reconnect. Shout out your social. Yes, shout out. At Jade Cataprata across all boards. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. 
Jada Preta. Jade Catapretta. Jada. Jada Catapretta. And if you want to join my Patreon, I already have one Patreon. So if you want to be the second, that's you. (laughs) Um, I'm not doing Patreon right now. Um, But yeah, Um, come out. I'm local, so come out to the, yeah. I'm Beautiful. at the comedy store every weekend come out alright right. y'all you heard it here um, okay thank oh and you. watch Hotties it's on Hulu oh that's right that's right. I have a show on Hulu watch it <laughs> we just forgot <laughs> nobody we don't have a second yeah. season yet so maybe we still can yeah keep watching yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay Um. thank you so much for being here thank you you're guys you're incredible yes, and you amazing. braved the LA traffic to do it you're so great Um. everybody listening and watching uh, go follow Jade and we love each and every one of y'all toodles bye 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 <laughs> If you've enjoyed this episode of Chidi's Podcast, please subscribe, rate, and review wherever you listen. And if you've been cheated on or you have cheated, you've got a cheating story that we want to hear. Leave us a teaser voicemail at 888-STABBY-8. That's 888-782-2298. And hey, while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Chidi's Podcast. Follow me, Lace Larrabee, at Lace Larrabee. And follow me, Catherine Blanford, at It's Catherine Blanford. Stay stabby!